Uh, I respect everyone on here, your office, that is. I've, I've been taught that you respect the office that the person is in. My brother-in-law told me he was in a service. If you're a private and a general walks past and he's a wife beating, drug selling general, what are you going to do? Salute. You don't have to respect the person, but the office that the person is in is what gets the respect. Now, I'll be, I'm sorry, I'll be real quick. People tend to think that leaders and politicians are one and the same. They are not. Not all the time. They should be. The difference is one, a leader looks for his or her replacement. I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, Nelson Mandela, he could have been president of South Africa until he died. He served once and he found a replacement. A true leader does not look for followers. Why? Because a true leader has a fruit that the person or people want. If you want an apple, the tree doesn't come to you. You go to the tree. Same thing with leadership. Politicians, not you, but politicians, look to be reelected over and over and over again, no matter what type of job they're doing. That's politicians. Leaders, we want to make a difference. We don't care if you're white, black, purple, don't care. Republican, Democrat, independent, don't care. Because we understand, again, we all want the same friggin' thing. A roof over our heads, clothes on our backs, shoes on our feet. That's it, period. Politicians, we see them play games. Not here. State level, yes. Federal level, certainly. But again, people get upset at you, the council. Maybe they should. But I think to understand what really is going on is to talk to people. I'll, I'll, I'll be finished. There was one guy in my neighborhood He's been there maybe 50 years. And when my youngest son, he's 20 now, I would drop him off at the bus stop. And every time I would wave to him, wave to him, because that's what I was taught to do. If I make eye contact, I'm going to speak. And he came to me one time and said, do I know you? He said, you always, always wave to me. I said, no. He said, I've been here at that time 20 years ago. 30 years, no one had ever waved at him. That's the whole issue. If we don't talk, it's easier to divide us. Again, come on, we all know this. It's simple little things that we are allowing to separate us and get angry at. We, we all make mistakes, yes. Some intentional, some not so much. But at the end of the day, those who have no sin, throw the first stone. Thank you.